SEOP stands for the Child Exploitation and Online Protection Centre. We're a police-led child protection agency and essentially we provide a specialist service for tackling sexual exploitation both online and offline. Grooming is a process used by offenders in preparing children for sexual abuse and it's a process, it's not a one-off event, so it has different stages, so it could start from a person befriending somebody on Facebook or any other social networking site, engaging with them, sharing stories which they know the child is going to be interested in, um, having common interests, tapping into what hobbies they're interested in. And also it's about building that relationship, that one-to-one -one relationship that makes a child actually less likely to speak out or tell a, a, a protective adult that they trust about what's happening. The online world creates an, a real opportunity for offenders um, because it allows offenders to have that one-to-one -one relationship uh, much more easily. Um, it, it cuts out the likelihood of, of other adults observing what's going on or parental supervision or those things that get in the way of a kind of one-to-one -one relationship between an, an offender and a child. I think the key message you want to get across to parents is not to be fearful of allowing their children to use the internet because there are lots and lots of positives and actually lots of children have grown into and been born into a digital world. We just want parents really to be vigilant about what their children are doing online, get them to show uh, the sites that they're using, the kind of things they're doing and uh, make sure that their kids know that they can talk to them about any anxieties they have or any relationship on, online that's making them uncomfortable. If parents look out for a, a kind of unhealthy level of internet use, um, children being secretive about what they're doing online um, and their communications online. So when parents are approaching this subject with especially young children, so this kind of 10 and under, it's about bringing the principle of stranger danger into the online world and having a conversation with them using words that they're going to understand, making them feel comfortable and just making them have a moment where they think, is that person who I think they are? And if they don't feel comfortable about anybody who's approached them, just saying to them, you know, it's okay to tell mum or dad or anybody that they trust that they're feeling uncomfortable. If, if your child's at immediate risk, um, then the best thing to do is contact your local police. You can call 999. Um, and when I say immediate risk, um, the threat that your child might actually meet up with a sex offender uh, imminently, that is an immediate risk. But for any of these concerns, you can also contact um, CEOP using our online reporting form through Click CEOP, and that's available at CEOP.police.uk. Talk to your child about online grooming. Why not use one of the Think You Know resources to help open a conversation in an age-appropriate way? Talk to your child about their online friends. Do they know these friends in the offline world? Ask them to think carefully about who they chat and share information with. Let your child know that you are always there for support. Get them to talk to you if anyone makes inappropriate or sexual comments towards them. And let them know that no matter what's happened, you're there to help. Learn how to report any inappropriate contact made to your child online by an adult. This can be done by the Click CEOP button.